Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a look at Immunet, which is a popular cloud-based AV. It's under Cisco, and as of now has millions of users. It has been updated recently, although the UI doesn't reflect that. The website is now really cool and modern, looks quite compelling. Now let's see how the actual product functions. So first of all, I have this folder which has 780 pieces of uh, malware in here and we're going to use it to calculate the detection ratio. These are files from the previous review that I did on Bitdefender, so the same files. Now they're a bit older of course, about a week old should still be fine for the test. So let's go ahead and do our right click scan. And in the meantime, I will show you that we are using the default settings. So general settings, as you can see, all the engines are turned on, including the Clam AV engine. Now the scan seems to be complete, but we still have, uh, what, 221 items left. So I'm going to do one more scan just to be sure. Before that, I'm even going to check for updates again. As you can see, it is up to date. Now time for the second scan. And it seems it just found this one file. That's going to be it. Maybe not, because it is picking up a few more items. Now we're not going to be running these files like we usually do. I have something a bit more fascinating today. So instead of going through um, all of these files, which POPs, ransomware, all sorts of things, I have a brand new ransomware sample that I'm going to try to execute on the system and we'll see if Immunet can protect us because that's kind of the critical question these days. Before we get to that though, here's another interesting thing. If I start the scan from the user interface, it does show me this uh, little box, but if I do a right click scan or a context menu scan, it doesn't do that, so uh, that's kind of weird. I would expect a bit more polish from a product like this. But anyway, the scan is complete and no threats are now detected and we still have 207 items left over. That's what it's going to be. And that is a detection ratio of 73.5%, which is meh. I mean, it's pretty disappointing, definitely below average. But well, it's not the end of the world. Maybe this product is just more focused on the on execution thing. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we run our ransomware. So you've already seen the threat we'll be testing with. It's sad ransomware. I recommend you check out the um, couple of other videos I've made with it. I'll link them at the end. But for now, let's see what happens when we try to run this sample with all the engines turned on. And I'll even enable blocking mode, which says it's supposed to prevent applications from being installed on your computer until they are determined to be safe. Now this is not turned on by default, but I just want to give it the best chance. And maybe if it's blocked, then we'll turn off blocking mode and try again and see what happens. Because I deem blocking mode may also create a lot of false positives. So let's um, take a close look at our data and uh, let's see what happens when we run the ransomware. Uh-oh. It seems our data is already encrypted. So that's not good at all. Let's just go ahead and try to open this. Yep. So despite having all the engines and blocking mode turned on, Immunet was unable to prevent this ransomware from encrypting our stuff. That right there is a fail. And it kind of suggests that this product heavily relies on its signatures because blocking mode, it says it's only going to allow applications that are safe. I kind of thought that 
it might be some sort of whitelisting mechanism, but it somehow seems to deem this ransomware safe, so that's really weird. The detection wasn't impressive either this day and age, given that there are so many options, I don't really see a use case for this. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo, thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.